Greetings from Derbyshire. Hope you're all okay. Hopefully soon we'll have a bit more freedom and I know for so many of you that's desperately you want what you want and me too. <laughs> anyway, today's video is in response to a thread that was on Gravel Bikes UK and it's about how to fuel a long ride. <laughs> In the past, I've ridden a lot of 24 hour mountain bike races, six hours long sportives, and etc. And I've had to think a lot about what type of fuel works for me. This isn't the definitive guide to how to fuel your long ride, but it is based on science. It's also based on personal preferences. So all I'm doing today really is sharing what works for me. And it might just help you think about what would work for you too. So today I filled up as the, like I would for any long ride. I've had porridge this morning because that's a low GI food. That means low glycemic index, uh, which gives a slow release of energy throughout the ride. And I've had coffee because that's a cyclist favorite and undoubtedly gives you a bit of a buzz and makes you a little bit more alert. So that's what I've done. I tend not to take anything extra on board for breakfast before anything long because it just makes me feel totally stuffed. So, there you go. I'm riding today with two 750 milliliter bottles. General rule of thumb is 750 milliliters will do you around about an hour and a half. Sometimes if I'm going really slow, actually I can make one last two hours. Obviously if it's really hot, you're gonna get through more liquid. I'm using Carbo. Now this is the tricky bit. You need to find one that works for you. I'm using High Five. I'm not sponsored by High Five, but that one I, my system can cope with. I have used other ones in the past that really just gave me a load of grief. So something to think about. Try it beforehand, before you do a really important event, which one works for you? If conditions are really hot, it might be better to have a isotonic plus carbo drink. Uh, the isotonic drink will replace electrolytes that lost through sweat. So something to think about, really hot. Certainly something I always have when I'm abroad. If you're out all day, or you're doing something like a 24 hour race, for example, you really, really can't just survive on carbohydrate, isotonics, uh, energy bars in your back pocket or gels. You get to the point where you need proper food. And for me, it's kind of like needing clean food almost, something real. So obviously that's difficult, particularly if you don't want to stop. Uh, so a mate of mine suggested using a finger roll and I'll actually pick this up here. Finger roll. <laughs> now, I never eat finger rolls in a million years at home in normal life, but finger rolls fit nicely into a bit of silver foil. I've got a bit of protein inside, and that's actually cheese. Wrapped in silver foil, you can pull that off with your teeth as you're riding along. It squashes up perfectly into your back pocket, and you can eat bits off <laughs> as you go along. Um, probably won't want to do it if really close to somebody if you're trying to impress them. <laughs> but I mean, sometimes there is no dignity in endurance sports, is there? But just something to try. Right, this is my final tip for when you're out on your ride. I've tried this, it works for me. Try it, see if it works for you. Um, I quite like to have flat coke in the last hour. You've got two options, you can either water it down that takes the fizz out or else you can just leave the top off overnight. Either one works really well. And it just gives you a little boost, obviously, because it's got sugar in it and it's got caffeine. And at the end of the ride, that's actually fantastic. So there you have it. Feelings guide to fueling a long ride. Try those things. Really, really important that you try them before the important day. Uh, um, because you do need to work out what's best for you. And take it from me, if you eat loads of sweet stuff, 
well, you try and do it all day, you'll get to the point. You just don't want to eat anything. So it really, really is important to get a bit of a mixture of sweet stuff, stavy stuff, you know, and kind of real food as well. Don't forget that when you finish your ride and you then get back home, check to make sure that you're not dehydrated. You know, if your urine is a really, really dark colour, you need to top up a lot on fluids. Get some protein in as quick as you can. I quite often have Greek yoghurt. Greek yoghurt actually has more protein than normal yoghurt. Uh, rice pudding always hits the spot for me. And then generally just eat well, but really, really make sure that you are hydrated. I hope that you found this video useful. It is a bit of a journey of discovery, working out what's best for you. And I can't stress that enough. Use the science but also think about what your stomach can go with because that is really, really important. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing. I absolutely love comments below this video and actually it is really useful for other people to read. It might be that you've tried certain foods or energy drinks or whatever, and maybe other people might just benefit from reading what you put. So please, please make sure that you put something below. Fantastic. And it's a shared thing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. It won't be long now before we can go wherever we like. It's over. <laughs> Take care. Bye. E o doutor Anderson, o Fernando Gonçalves, entrando o troféu, é de Tom Sacra, o grande vencedor.